I can say with a fair, uh, a fair bit of confidence uh, and, uh, around the fact that I do believe uh, wholeheartedly that BCTs are here to stay. Uh, I think that we will continue to see uh, continue adoption uh, uh, across the variety of approaches to DCT. It's really, it's really difficult to obviously deny uh, some of the benefits and the advantages that we've witnessed firsthand uh, over the last uh, you know, 18 to 24 months. And so again, I think that uh, decentralized clinical trials will continue to stay. I think the predictability around the usage trends is probably going to be a little bit more elusive to kind of manage. I think if you think about, uh, again, just kind of the, the spanning uh, scope of decentralized clinical trials in the different flavors, if you allow me, and you, you, we have things that are ranging from fully decentralized clinical trials to hybrid clinical trials. Uh, and so all of these uh, trials actually have different components and aspects. And I do see, uh, obviously, that you'll continue to see some adoption. I think, uh, you know, I heard it say that, you know, not every trial can be decentralized, but every trial can actually incorporate decent decentralized approaches. And I think you'll see that you'll see a considerable amount of uh, decentralized clinical trial approaches, whether it's e-consent or telehealth or it's remote visits or direct to patient approaches. Uh, and again, maybe it's the, the use of digital health technologies uh, to uh, bring, you know, the actual patient and the site uh, connections together. So I, 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 I see that being, you know, pretty steady in its trajectory, just in terms of the overall adoption rates, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult to, uh, to uh, you know, assess. I think there are many well-documented benefits of decentralized clinical trials. Uh, you know, we have full endorsement from many of all of the stakeholders, whether it's, you know, site, uh, you know, site relationships, whether it's patients, whether it's sponsors and investigators that are involved. And so you see uh, that there are, you know, again, some pretty meaningful advantages. I, I think, you know, some of the ones that are you know, more well-documented is obviously being able to uh, extend the clinical trial activity to the patient in the home. Uh, there are the benefits around DCT have been proven, and again, demonstratively validated that you can accelerate the uh, the uh, the enrollment and the retention of patients while they're on the uh, DCT approaches. And so, again, by which you can move to faster study times. Uh, and uh, there's there there are fully appreciable advantages of DCT. And, uh, you know, I, I do believe that, you know, we'll, con you know, we'll continue to see these, uh, these different approaches uh, increase uh, over time.